fam, let me talk to you for a minute. Now, I know a lot of you is letting fear and doubt take control of your life. Stop it. Today, stop it. Whatever you want to do in this life, while you're here, do it. God did not instill fear inside of us. I want you to read 1st, 2nd Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. And I'm going to put it right up here. See, our problem is that we always in fear of what somebody else is going to think of us. What they going to say about us. Even our family. See, when I wanted to start this YouTube channel, I was so scared that everybody going to have something negative to say, which some of them said, girl, you crazy. Ain't nobody going to watch you. What you got to say? What you got to put out there that makes somebody want to watch you? Ain't nobody going to watch you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. And for a long time, I listened. I did listen. But, but God, see, I prayed about it for a long time and I finally did it because he gave me my answer. And you know what he said? I did not instill fear inside of you. I gave you power. I gave you love. And I gave you a sound mind. So why is you letting fear stop you? Okay, God. I'm going to do it. And I did it. I didn't think that I would grow with so many subscribers. I didn't actually think that anybody would watch me. But they do. And I thank you. See, let me tell you something. What God has for you is for you. Like the shopping video that I just put up. That video, when I said, thank you, Lord. See, when you own a tight budget and it's either pay this bill or feed your family. What are you supposed to do? Because if you don't pay a bill, something going to get cut off. Your family be fed, but something going to go, they're going to go lacking somewhere. So what I had to do, I had to fast. And I had to pray. And ask God. Please take this burden off of me. And I laid it at his feet. Do you hear me? So when I put up that video about me finding that case of meat on the pick five, it might not mean nothing to a lot of people. But it means something to me and my family. You see what I'm saying? That's a whole case of meat that I can feed my family for a good two weeks because it was a lot. See, God got his way of showing up when it's your time. When you need him, he will be there. It might not be right then, but he got his way of showing up. Just have faith. I prayed last night. 
I prayed. And he did it. A lot of people don't understand, but a lot of people do understand. The ones that have to get out there and work hard for your money. You get up, your body aching. You don't feel like going in working for somebody else just to make them rich. But you living from paycheck to paycheck just to make it in this world. See, I understand. A lot of people understand. When you thrive and to do something, build something to work for yourself, to know that I did that. God blessed me to do that. Not for you to work just so that person can be satisfied on a beach somewhere. But you taking a little bit of your paycheck that you have to pay this bill. Pay that bill. Pay this bill. Pay that bill. Okay, I got to get gross. My family got to eat. What am I going to do? What bill I'm going to have to cut? See, a lot of people don't understand how powerful God is. Y'all need to understand. You need to understand that he's almighty. Only thing you got to do is go to him in prayer. Just go to him in prayer. And whatever you need fixing in your life, he will fix it. Don't let fear take control of your life. A lot of y'all want to start a YouTube channel, but you so scared of what somebody going to say. Of how your house look. How you look. What your clothes you wear. How it look. Don't worry about that. People going to always have something to say. People always going to talk. If they talked about Jesus Christ, what you think they going to do about you? But he kept going. He never stopped. So don't you ever let what somebody else say stop you from achieving your dreams. It's going to be hard. But you got to keep going. Keep going. Keep your faith. And keep God first. You always keep him first. Stay prayed up. Pray every day. I talk to him every day, all day long. Because that's my provider. That's my provider. These jobs that we work at, God fixed it to where we can have a piece of paycheck. It's not the rich man or the companies that we work for. It's not because of them. It's because of God. Y'all need to stop. Stop letting this fear take control of your life. God didn't put fear in us. He gave us power. So y'all need to start using that power. 